Hello YouTube, this is just a small shopping haul. All of this stuff was on sale. It's the only way that I shop. Um, except for this. I was having a conversation with Our Blessed Homestead. She was asking me what I use to make my pizzas and I told her the double zero flour. Uh, this is the brand I use, but I order it in 50 pound bags off of Amazon and I keep it in a um, 60 pound Vittles vault container on my uh, pantry shelf in the hallway. But literally this little tiny 2.2 bag was $4 for that. So don't, that's the only reason I bought this was to show um, what I use. Uh, I picked up more oyster sauce and soy sauce for stir fries. Orange juice was $6.99 for a 89 ounce container. I did grab two blocks of Velveeta. I don't normally buy this. Um, but I wanted to make some um, homemade queso dip and I've tried the DIY recipes um, for that and just didn't really like it. I picked up two things of marinated artichoke hearts. These are one of my favorites. Um, picked up some Frank's Red Hots. This was like a dollar and change for the bottle. We don't use a lot of hot sauce, but I do use it in my baked mac and cheese, so that'll last us a little while. Um, fresh mozzarella. Picked up um, ketchup. These were $2.99 a piece for a 38 ounce container. Um, my kind of steal for the week, bacon has been up to $5.99, $6.99 a pound. Um, so I cut these for $3.99 a pound. So I grabbed 10 packs of those for the freezer. Um, this is good to make breakfast wraps, breakfast sandwiches for the freezer for the kids. Um, I picked up some basa to fry and some pork chops. Pork chops were $2.49 a pound and it's about three and a half pounds. Oh, I did get two packs of Oscar Mayer beef franks. You know these are supposed to be no nitrites, nitrates, no fillers, no byproducts, no artificial preservatives, no colors or flavors. Um, my middle one's picky and the beef is the only ones that he'll eat. Um, I picked up a, a while ago, about, I don't know, two, three months ago, my jar of dehydrated raspberries fell and shattered all over the floor. Um, so right now I have zero dehydrated raspberries. I do have a huge two and a half gallon bag in the deep freezer for smoothies but I needed some more dehydrated so I got 12 packs of these they were on sale three for five um, corn I only bought seven ears you had to buy you had to spend seven dollars uh, twenty dollars to get seven ears for two dollars I believe Uh, yeah, kind of stupid for that, but $20 purchase, limit one offer per family. But that's okay, I'll stock up at the farmer's market this summer. But for now, I would like to have some corn this week. Um, I did pick up two packs of asparagus. Um, 
we only like this roasted um, cannot stand it soggy especially when they're this thin I'll only cook them till they're al dente so literally not the full 10 minutes at 400 degrees with just extra virgin olive oil kosher salt black pepper um, these I would probably do three to five minutes and they should be ready to go you still want that crisp that bite to it and oh my god they're amazing um, I did pick up another 10 pound bag of potatoes because we're completely out to have baked potatoes um, for meals I want to do some loaded baked potatoes now string beans was the other steal of the week they were on sale for the first time since last year for 99 cents a pound the case was almost completely emptied out I basically scraped what was left and was able to get 12 pounds 9 ounces of that so I'm gonna can those up I'm down to less than a case of string beans from the last time I canned them last year so uh, whenever I can get my string beans for 99 cents or less a pound I stock up can them up and put them back um, I don't really buy a lot of chips but we do keep Tostitos on hand because I use these for homemade taco pie. It's like my version of taco lasagna. Um, so I grabbed four bags of those. Normally those are $4.29. I paid um, $3.50 each for those. Just regular hot dog buns. Um... My oven's broke. Normally I make those homemade, but in the meantime, I have to buy them until my oven is fixed. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. Um, if I don't use this corn right away, I'm just going to vacuum seal it in food saver bags and pop it in the freezer. Um the bacon I just freeze that in the pack that it comes in and that's it and I will do a pantry tour soon so that way you can see how I organize my freezers I have one for meats and one for fruits and vegetables and if I want to pop like a lasagna in there I keep my uh, pre-made pie crusts in there uh, but anyway, that's it. I got to get this stuff put away and I will get this uploaded later. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.